Hi friends, gather around. I'm glad you're here to join me for the children's message today. So I have a question for you as we get started. When you think of the word family, what comes to your mind? What do you think of? So the dictionary says that a family is a group consisting of parents and children living together in a household. So that's, that's a good definition, isn't it? But that's not always the way things are, is it? There's all kinds of different families and not all families have a mom and a dad and brothers and sisters living in the same place, right? So that's, that's part of the definition, but it's not the whole definition. But if we think beyond that and we think more broadly, we can think of a family as being any group that is brought together by common interests, beliefs, and love for one another. So if you think about a family like that, they have common interests and beliefs and love for one another. So where else could you find a family? Maybe right here in the church, right? Because we all believe in God and we have God's love surrounding us and we care for each other, right? So family doesn't have to just be moms and dads and brothers and sisters and grandmas and grandpas. There's a whole, a whole world of family around us if we all think the same way and we believe the same way, right? Like being in church. And I'm also thinking too, um, the reading that Pastor or that we have for this week talks about Jesus' family, his mother and his brothers and his sisters. And when we think about family, sometimes I think about like a family reunion. And a family reunion is a time when all the family comes together. And I can remember when I was growing up, when we would go back to the farm, my grandparents' farm in Nebraska, and all my cousins would come together, and my aunts and uncles and my grandparents would be there. And we would all be together to share, to share our love with each other and to share common stories and common beliefs. And as time grew, or time went on, our family grew because cousins got married, I got married, and then my grandparents died. But we still continued to gather together and the family grew because we had in common the love for each other and the things that brought us together, that rooted us. And for my family, that rooting was the farm in Nebraska. And so every couple of years, the family would get together to be able to see each other and talk to each other and continue to share our love and our memories. And that's like God's family, like in the church, where we come together and we grow, and some of our people get older and they pass away, but then there's new people and, and babies get born and the family of God grows. And you don't just have to be within these four walls to be part of God's family, do you? No, God's family is everywhere we go, we see each other. And if you think about being part of God's family, what can you do as being part of God's family to share your love of God, to share God's message with other people around? What can you do to share that with each other? Maybe you can help at the food pantry or bring food for the food pantry, right? Maybe you can help your neighbors and share with them. Um, what else can you do to share? Let me see. There's some other things. Oh, I know. You can bring clothing. If, if like when you outgrow your clothes, maybe you can bring them to the Salvation Army or to Goodwill or someplace where you can share your clothes with someone else. I bet someone else would love to have a new outfit or your, the clothes that you can't wear anymore or you share food with the home, with the hungry, or we find places where the homeless can be, right? We, we try to help and be a part of God's love and share God's love with God's family, which isn't just those under our roof, right? So we think about a bigger picture of God's family. And God says, it's not just my mother and my sister and my brother, all those who believe in God part of Jesus' family. And that's a whole lot of people. It's pretty cool to be a part of that big of a family, isn't it? So as you go about your week this week, 
Think about being a part of God's family and ways that you can share God's love and your love with the rest of the people in your family. And remember, not just in, under your roof, but all around, okay? So think about ways that you are sharing your love of family and God's family with others this week. And maybe share that with us, because as we're getting closer to times where we're gonna come back together, think about that and maybe share that with me. That'd be really cool, I'd like to hear about that. So go and be a part of God's family. And I'm glad we're a part of the family, God's family together too. So take care. We'll see you again. Bye.